Hi guys, welcome to episode 29, um, 28 of Mandy Pinecone Crafts. Today is February 6, 2016. Um, it's been a rough couple of weeks for me um, with work. A lot of changes, so with that, um, <laughs> there's my uh, crafting dog has decided to take a lovely vacation and all I want to do is just come home and lose myself in whatever I'm reading. Um, so I've got some knitting done, but not a lot. Um, the f um, so the only finished objects I have are blanket squares. Um, I think since you guys saw it last on After Hours Knits, I've put in 23 squares, and that was for the Winter Camp Snowball Fight. So, um, let's see if I can find... Oh, and I'm in the middle of a square. I've got a mess of yarn. Let's not pull it off the needles. So I finished this square here, which is white birch from Erin of Bling Your String. I know I did this one here, which is Knit Pick Stroll in their Sparkle, whatever, um, their Kessel color. Um, did this one here, which is Cascade Heritage Silk in their Lime Green. This one here, which is um, Sweet Georgia in the Spruce Color. I'm trying to think of how I did this. This full row here, which most, I think, all but these three. With these three are from Erin, and then these three, and this, the rest of this row is from Lynn Toll Baby um, of Two Tangled Skeins podcast. This row is more of minis from Lynn. Um. And then these two are two no makers. And then these three are more no makers. And the one I'm working on is a no makers also. And I am knitting this on one and a half. So it's growing. I am working from the inside out. Um, so this is gonna be, this is a never ending project for me. Um, I'm going to keep on adding blanket squares as I finish things, as um, I get minis from different friends, so it can be one big, huge blanket. And my blanket lives in my bag with all my minis, which is a princess bag that I made, which now needs to go back in the top of that. Um... Next thing I worked on is the Snowflake um, sweater by Tin Can Knits. Um, this is a one of the baby knits that I'm working on. So I was up here in the lace section and I got the lace done and now I'm on the body. This is out of Knit Picks Brava in their sport in the cream and cotton candy. And I'm knitting this on U.S. size 4. Um, and this is living in a Princess Tangled Skein CA bag um, with custom fabric. Um, so yeah, it has the princesses in pink. Other baby gift living in another princess bag um this one is rap rapidly it's gonna probably outgrow this at some point um oh and i've got a i'm in the middle of the square on this one 
I'm a bad podcaster. I started um, a muttered baby blanket. This one is going it's going to my sister, which I'm almost done the square. I'm knitting it out of Knit Picks Brava in the Sport. I'm doing rainbow colors, so I've got oh what colors is this? This is the orange, which is everywhere. The dove gray, which I've got a ball up. And the red. The celestial. These are all in Brava Sport. The grass. The eggplant, which is not showing up right, that's more of a royal purple. And the canary. Um, like I said, that's this is rapidly going to outgrow this bag. I've got to ball up those. Um, and then I'm putting the dove, just doing one row of the dove gray around each square so it's going to actually frame it in. And then I think I'm going to do this actually diagonal. So I'm going to do another orange one here. And then three yellow, four green go up to um, five blue, six um, purple and see how wide that is because I might just do it that way. Or if I have to just keep on doing diagonal up the colors. Um, and then once I get the purple, yeah, that's how I'm going to do it. Is diagonal, figure out this, how wide I want it, and then we'll work on the length. I've got a mess here. Um, next thing, where is he? I've finished one of the test knit socks for um, my friend Amanda, who is Little Panda 518 on Instagram and Ravelry, and then does has a um, every so often will stream on Twitch. So it has these lovely little hearts on it. If you watched After Hours Knits, you actually probably saw that I was knitting this pattern in a different um, yarn. This is Cuppy Cake Yarns, her yummy base in the Thanks for noticing. Yeah, thanks for noticing, which was her last Disney Club yarn. So it is Cuppy Cake Yarns. Um, I've got one done. Need to cast the other one on. But I stole the needles for this for a different sock project. Uh, and then this is living in a bag from my friend Sina, which is who is crafty yarnaholic, and then in a Valentine's bag that I actually made this past week, because I got why my knitting bug and crafting bug has gone away. I just want to sew everything. Um, is the fiber stash ninety one um, on her sparkle? This was the yarn I originally had, was going to do Amanda's test knit out of, but I got one repeat of the heart done and could not, the heart didn't stand out enough. So I wasn't liking it. So I'm actually, I pulled the needles out, didn't rip out the sock, which was a good thing. Um, because um, my friend Brandy eat my yarns and I were talking with a couple of people on the VCAM the other night and we thought um, we came up with the idea of doing her stace hat pattern on a sock so that's what I'm trying out on this and this is on size zeros these are my Addy sock rockets um, and then there's the oh it's not showing up right it's pinks and purples 
and you can actually see the sparkle. But I really like how this yarn holds up to frogging because this is probably the third project I've tried with this yarn. Um, so it should work. And on the inside of this is actually a reversible one. It has teddy bears that say bear hugs and kisses. So this is going to be reversible. So depending on what I want on the outside, um, there's that. Um, which needle is this? Okay, that's my size six. It so has to go with the blanket. <laughs> um, and then the uh, only other thing I worked on was a cross stitch pattern um, that I am making for Tanya Celestial 22 for her wedding. Um, she's getting married in June and I am going up for that, so um, I had asked her months ago which um, pattern she liked, and I picked colors. We'll start it whenever. Um, after we got done recording After Hours Knits um, the last time I was on, um, I decided after I cleaned it up I wanted to start this. So I've this is the Love Tree Birds. I don't a stitch um, and I am changing the bird colors because her, th her colors for the wedding are rainbowed so I've got um, one page done I'm on a second and then I got the page oops down here and uh, that's under this one the, this page here done because all it was was um, if I remember right, the page stopped like here. It was just this one little branch down here that was on this page. So I had gone over here and gone down and then decided that I needed color so I started the red. Um, so this bird will be the blues, the purple, and then this one will actually have a little bit of lime green thrown in. Well, this one is going to be a magenta, the red, orange, and yellow. So there's that. And then my needle minders on this are from Stitchy Time Creations on Etsy. And then this one and this one here that says I Dream in Color are from Gnome Name Needle Minders on Facebook. Um, I'm using these two just to hold threads that I had. Um, needed just a couple stitches like here and here to finish the page and then this is a on my q-snap and the fabric around it is just fabric that the ground guard that i made for it so the white fabric doesn't get all dirty um stash the first part of stash i have to show you is I've been lusting after a skein of um, Open Sky Knits, her winter sky, for a while now, and um, Brandy had made a pattern called Snowy Day, which has pine trees and snow falling. Um, and I knew I had to get the winter skies. Winter skies, it's pretty blues and white. Um, this is her um, card. And then she also sent a little um, stitch marker with the yarn. Um, so there's this. It is This is her Merino DK. So this is going to be um, balled up tonight and done into the snowy skies patterning. She also sent <laughs> a bookmark, which is Puffins, which is my team for winter camp. Um, a package of winter spice tea, and then four minis. Um, she's ha she had the minis and the bookmark saved for me. Um, so when I placed the order, the skinny on didn't need to travel by itself. 
oops, sorry about reaching. I knocked over a, my cup. Um, speaking of Zena, she sent me um, one of her cups. She does, you can actually private message her. She can get, um, she'll make the cups for you. I think she said there were $20 with shipping or 20 plus ship, shipping. I can't remember. So I've got the pink um, Puffin Cliffs because that's my team. 2017 and then she also sent minis um, so there that's all I've got for you I've got a little bit of winter camp stuff um, mostly for um, team puffin um, but there are some things Michael and I had stopped in to my local yarn shop which is must love yarn they have, have a card here for them, um, which the lovely ladies are fantastic. Must love yarn. Um, they do a lot of local yarn, um, and we were talking, Michael had been in a couple weeks ago and talking about winter camp, and they said they would donate a prize. So we ended up, we were in, ended up getting a prize, so they're donating this skein of yarn, which is... 85% merino, 10% silk, 5% uh, cashmere. It is, how many, oh, well, it doesn't have the color. It is 208 yards, so it's um, a worsted weight. It's nice and soft and squishy. But, they, but the nice thing is now that I wish I could win prizes, but I can't. They also gave us a $25 gift card for their shop, and it, yes, it can be used online. Um, they've got most of their products as they come through, go up online. I don't think they have everything, but um, I really like going in and seeing what they have. Um, so there's that for everybody. That will go, that will be one of the end of the year um, prizes. And then for Team Puffin, I am putting together um, a prize pack of, it's going to have tea, a bag, yarn, and um, one of these mugs. Um, but you're, it's going to actually be blue, the lettering. Um, it actually broke in shipping, so I only have mine was safe. Uh, the replacement is actually on their way. And the Oops, sorry. <laughs> More reaching because I knocked it over. The bag is has these little cute little puffins, and then it has um, plaid with snowflakes that has pink on the inside. So this little jostering bag. I will draw at the end of camp. Um, take everybody's. I haven't decided if I'm gonna use your points total or if I'm just gonna draw out of the chatter thread for it. Um, but it's going to be one of the two. Uh, so there is that. I think that is it for today. I hope everybody has a good couple of weeks. Um, I'm hopefully my crafting bug mojo decides to come back from its lovely vacation and I can actually get things done because I gotta get the baby sweater done by the end of next week yes because she's due at the end of the month i i want it toured by theoretically um i want it done by the 16th but we will see um so i might be knitting on that non-stop for the next couple of weeks um and then i've got the test knits i've got to do things like that so it's a lot of knitting hopefully um, and what I've been re I've been reading a lot of um, different books um, there's a couple series um, that I just finished uh, I just finished the Sullivan series by Bella Andre she's got it Actually, no, I've got two more of those. I've got the two newest ones to read on those, which I've got the audiobook. 
Um, she's got the, it's up to 18 books now. 18 books and two novellas. The next novella comes out in April, um, but it's about the Sullivan family. The first um, nine books are, yeah, about the San Francisco branch of the family, which is eight kids. And the ninth book is their parents' love story. Um, so you see um, the eight kids find their happily ever after. The next five books are take place in Seattle. The, um, the two newest ones are going to take place in New York, which I haven't read the two newest ones, um, which are on the, which I'll probably actually end up listening to why I'm knitting on the baby sweater. And then what's the other set? Oh, I've been reading the if people are looking for sweet romance novels, I mean, the far as they go is they might kiss and that's it. Hold hands like this really sweet. Um, there is a set that you can get for the Kindle Unlimited. It is called the Rivers End Ranch. It takes place in Idaho. It is... The whole set of books takes place on a dude ranch. It's written by five different authors. So every two weeks, they'll put out a new book. Um, I had to laugh. They're up to 11 now. The 11th just came out last Monday. Um, I had to laugh on that um, because the main female character in that book is um gets the her the guy to sit down and watch Disney movies to pick his favorite princess. It's between Cinderella and Belle. Because which to me Belle's better than Cinderella, but I'm a Snow White girl. But it was fun to watch somebody that hadn't seen these movies um his take on it. And I did the same thing to my head. I've done, made my husband sit down and watch a couple of them with me, um, but not many. Um, so it, it was, oh, I'm trying to think of the name. Something Brew. Oh, oh. yeah. It's by Kristen Olson. No, that's not right. But yeah, it's on, they're on Amazon. It's a River and Ranch. Um, so if you want something that is a sweet romance novel, um, there's that. Um, this year I'm actually wanting to read 150 books. I know it seems like a lot, but a lot of what I end up reading are what you can, I can get through the Kindle Unlimited service. So they're between 150 and 200 pages. Uh, so I can finish two or three in a day um, if I'm just sitting and reading. Um, most nights I'll blow through one. Last night I actually was up until three this, four this morning finishing up a book because I just didn't want to put it down. And that was the, um, book I was reading last night. It's one of the novellas by um, Bella Andre. It was the, um, oh I can't even think of the title. Oh. I've lost it, but it was the last novella before the New York Sullivan set. It was, takes uh, two of the brothers um, pick the same wedding date, so it's um, it's all the behind the scenes stuff of their wedding, what's going on around it, and all that. It was 75 pages, but there's that. Um, I'll just randomly open a book and just read it. Um, so, that is it. Bye, y'all. <laughs>